Niner's angle of the bow now, zero. Down the throat? It's a bow shot. Hello, YouTube modeling community. This is Rick, and this is my first uh, update on the build of the uh, F4F Wildcat uh, for the um, uh, box stock group build, uh, sponsored by Gary at uh, the Fallout Shelter. Um, this is an Airfix 172nd scale kit. Uh, I went through the intro uh, in a separate video. Um, one qu quick update on that intro video. I kind of questioned the um, description on the box of the uh, uh, Marine Corps build for um, the uh, Guadalcanal campaign uh, as to what the uh, squadron was, the VMF. And uh, uh, I found out that actually both uh, VMF 221 and 223 uh, served at Henderson Field on Guadalcanal. Um, it's just that I was looking at the um, uh, time frame when Guadalcanal was in question at, from uh, the landings in August of 42 up through the um, Japanese withdrawal in January of 43. Uh, Henderson Field, of course, was still used as an airfield as uh, the Allies progressed up the Solomons. And uh, VMF uh, 221 was on Guadalcanal uh, in the spring and summer of 43 uh, during the battle for the Central Solomons. And that's where James Sweat uh, received his uh, Medal of Honor uh, for action that I'll, I'll put a link to, but uh, uh, if I remember correctly, he shot down uh, seven uh, Japanese VAL bombers uh, in one, uh, in one mission. Um, so, uh, back to the kit here. Um, a couple things, uh, before I show a little progress and where we are. Um, there are, I, I mentioned during the, uh, the intro video that eventually I want to use this in a diorama of Henderson Field that focuses uh, on the CBs, but there are some options uh, in the kit, and I wanted to go ahead and look uh, at the um, uh, diorama in terms of uh, the choice for those options. Uh, you know, and uh, what I'll do here is show a, a picture I found of the F4Fs uh, on Henderson Field and uh, some of the kit options that I, you need to consider is, well, obviously landing gear, and they're gonna be down. Uh, cockpit uh, can be built closed or open, so uh, based on uh, what I'm planning to do in, in this picture, the cockpit will be opened. Um, wings on the kit can either be uh, folded or extended. Uh, here at the field, uh, where they were parked, they parked them with the wings extended, so that's the way I'll build it. Uh, there are optional drop tanks uh, in the kit, uh, and uh, based on the picture, I won't be using the drop tanks uh, or the optional tail hook. Um, one other thing that's jumping out at me in the picture here is it looks like the engine cowling is a slightly lighter color uh, than the rest of the fuselage. So, I don't know, that's something I may look into. So, anyway, this is, uh, this is where I am right now. We've kind of got things, uh, buttoned up. Uh, I do have some seam issues, uh, that I'm going to have to deal with, uh, as a, uh, as a next step. Um, the cockpit, uh, I've got some other pictures, which I'll show here uh, for an out-of-the-box 
um, uh, box stock uh, cockpit, uh, I think it, uh, it came out uh, quite well, primarily due to, I think, what were very good set of uh, instrument decals uh, that went on easy and uh, uh, didn't have a lot of problem with. So let me uh, show a few pictures and video of uh, the cockpit before I button things up. Um, I've got the, uh, the landing gear uh, in. Uh, most of the build videos I watched indicated that was uh, uh, the uh, most uh, intricate part of the build. And I think, uh, although I got it together fairly well, it was contributing to the, uh, to the little seam separation that I've got. So uh, I think we can, uh, can deal with that with a little, uh, a little putty and sanding. So, uh, uh, that's where we are. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, thanks for subscribing if you are a subscriber. And if not, uh, please do so. There'll be a link during the uh, uh, out uh, screen. And uh, we'll be talking to everybody. Thanks.